So it's me, your boy, K. Samson. I have something marvelous for us today. Uh, I know this message will sound somehow to many people, but just wait to the end and and know what I bring to the table. So you know, we need to be careful when we come to those whom we do what we involve, we involve or we bring into our life. You know, Jesus made a statement uh, in the New Testament. He made a statement. He said, uh, the worsted enemy of every man is from his word, his household. He declared it in the book of Matthew. Be Mark. He said, the worsted enemy of every man is from his household. I know that many people will be, will be said, eh, Samson, why, what do you bring? What, what else do you want to say again concerning this? I have been saying a lot concerning this, but the reason why I want to use the word Jesus said is because uh, it is very, very polite for us to understand this. The worsted enemy of every man is from his background. If perventure your background are not able to kill you, outsiders will not. When I mean your background, your friends, your relative, your family, your best friends, if these categories of people are not able to kill you, believe me, no one on earth will be able to kill you. Why? Because think about it. If perventure you keep a meat at home, so... You keep it inside the house. So, rat outside can never discover that there is what there is a meat inside. So, it is the what it is the rat inside that perceive the what the 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 scent or the odor that we do or that we totally go and inform others that there is something inside the house that they need to gather and eat. Let's be real. So, people Outside cannot kill you if someone inside is not involved. That is why whenever God is doing something for you, brothers, just be silent. <laughs> be silent. Yes, I know sometimes when you are about to start up some business, you are about to start up some certain things, you ought to tell your relative. If you, if you wish, you ought to tell them. But it is better to do or to hear yourself than to give yourself injury that you also will be looking for the medicine to cure yourself. The same. You want me to say? So that is the reason why you ought to be careful when it comes to those you call your friends. When it comes to those you call your loved ones. You understand me? That is why you ought to be what? To be careful. Because he who knows man, they kill man. This is what my dad always tell me. Someone who don't know you can never kid you. You know, I wanted to do this video yesterday. I have, or, or I created it, but because of music, it do what it corrupted. That is the reason why I decide to do it, to repeat it today. So let's be careful. Mostly when God is blessing you, mostly when God is favoring you, when God is doing something new in your life, we, we ought to do it, to be silent. Why? Because when God is blessing you, he is blessing you secretly. Not publicly. Uh, sometimes, uh, we, we, maybe we want to, you know, we want to thank God for what he, he have done. Either in your church, either in the outside, in one, in one category, in one point to another, we want to thank God. Sometimes, we want people to know it, that God have done something for us. Believe me, the worsted enemy is from the, world, from the church. Yes, believe me. Where you will find enemy worst is from the church i say so so if you discover this what ought, what do you ought to do you ought to dis distance yourself from people whom you call your friends you know when god is blessing you yes it is very very good for you to thank god for what he have done for you for his mercy for his kindness for his protection mostly at the end of every year or middle of every year, if you wish, it is very necessary. But let me tell you one way in which you can surprise God, and God will arose mightily. You know, sometimes we all we 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 give gift to God, and we expect it to do what 
to do what? To bless us. Yes, everything you give God, he will always multiply it in the full if you do it in the right way. So what am I trying to say is this. If you want to do what? To, bless, to thank God, to appreciate God, you ought not even to let your pastor know. Yes. I see a lot of people today, if at the end of the year, they want to do thanksgiving, they want to thank God for what God has done. I see some churches selecting some able men, selecting this, selecting that, saying these ones are the, what, are the ones that they select as a chairman. As the, That is what, brabatic. Sometimes that is brabatic. Why? Because in the house of God, everyone is equal. Everyone. So, that, in, 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 in that system, many people look themselves as a low word, as a low human. Believe me, I'm not lying. Maybe they will not say it, but many people feel less of their self. M many men and women feel what less of their self. The house of God is not a place where you ought to select who are these. Because all men are the same. And some people want to do it. They want to thank God for what God has done. You just hear them saying, hey, 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 God does miracle. Now my papa, he have done something for me. Now my, I, 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 I brought the chair. I, 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 I brought the table. I, 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 I want to thank God with 20,000 naira. I want to thank God with 50,000 naira. I want to thank God with 1,000 euro. I want to do this. God. God, I thank you, and you want everyone to know. My dad used to tell me, say, whenever you are doing good, don't let your right hand know what your left hand is doing. Just what? Just do it secretly because the Lord blessed you secretly. So you ought to use your 649 to, to do what? To return the glory to Him secretly. You can you can buy a chair. You can donate. You can secretly buy a chair. Not even when people are there. Just buy that chair. Secretly keep it in the altar. Pray, God, I thank you for what you have done. I thank you for your, for your protection, for your, pro, for your provision, for everything, for everything that you have provided for me. I truly appreciate. That is the reason why I come to do this. Think about it. When Anna was asking God for what, for breakthrough, for for divine purpose. He didn't do it in the public. When people were there, no. He wait for all of them to go. There's something you can use to do it, to cause God anger. Then when God look at you, he say, no, this one have already aroused my anger. Who is this? So what am I trying to say? Let whatsoever you, I'm, I'm saying this, not only because in the church, but I'm saying this in all categories. When God is blessing you, brothers and sisters, don't let people around you know. Sometimes when God promotes us in our business, we start to shout. We start to, we want people to know, but we don't know actually those whom we are giving information. We don't know actually those who are hearing it, whether they are with us or they are against us. You know, the worst enemy cannot fight you when they don't have evidence to fight you. That is why today many blessings are what are delayed. That is why today many things that the Lord have done in our, in our life are sabotaged. Why? Because we do what? We allow devil to hear what God is doing. We, we, are, we, we open up. We tell them. Why? Because because of happiness, we don't we can't control ourselves. So let us be careful with those whom we truly call our friends. Why? Because the worst enemy of every man is from his household, is from your background. So let's be careful, brothers. This is all I have for you. Listen, if you try that mist to appreciate God, believe me, you will have it in a full. He will return everything you bring to appreciate him in hundredfold. He even said it in the what in the new in the New Testament, I'm sure in the book of Matthew. He says, Hypocrites, if they want to do good, they want everyone to know it. They want everyone to know what they are doing. They want everyone to know it. But the Father will never do it, will not bless them because people have already used their mouth to bless them. So what am I trying to say is this, brothers and sisters, whenever God is doing good, doing something marvelous in you, in your life, 
do it the way he do it secretly you ought to also do it what secretly you know what i'm saying so remember bless may god bless you and may god indeed bless you in jesus name amen